and crew Watch and see what they do Come take a ride and catch a vibe And all the things they go through They in this thing forever It's only gonna get better Each day they up, thank the Lord above Cause it's the Birdland Crew Everybody, it's your girl TK from the Kirkland Crew and today I am back with another video. So as you guys know, Thanksgiving is coming up. So um, this week you probably will not get any more vlogs from us except Thanksgiving vlog. Um, except our Thanksgiving vlog. So be on the lookout for that. I'm not sure what the week may bring. As y'all seen by the last video, you know, things with the Kirkland crew switch up at, at any given moment. At, at any given time, things are bound to change. So, we're just uh, go with the flow type of people. So, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm not sure. I'm not going to promise y'all. I'm not going to say no. I don't know. I don't know if uh, we'll get another vlog in this week other than thanksgiving vlog i'm not sure so we'll just see but today i ain't gonna make this intro too long we're gonna get to it we are doing an order today so um i'm going to pretty much show you guys um how i do an order and yeah y'all finna just chill with tk so let's get to it so everything that i need goes in here so i can just grab it I have my mat here and I have this little clear thing um don't mind how look it's just my um weeder board 
So you can see all the little scratches on it. This is what I use. I have my weeder here. So this is what I use. It's really sharp and pointy, so it allows me to get in those creases and those edges and everything. So this is what I use. I put um, my design or whatever it is on here, and I use this to weed it out so that this can get scratched up and nothing else. So what we're making today is this. It says TikTok Princess. And I am making two of those. So what I'm going to do is measure. to the vinyl store and got the colors that I'm going to be using for this and I only got sheets of it because I didn't need these are the colors that I'm using and white so I'm going to be using these three colors pink is like a Tiffany blue and white Or you know what, I probably don't even use the white actually. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna use the white. I'm gonna just do these two colors on a black shirt. And then I always get extra, extra sheets. I think I'll only need just these two and I won't even use all this. I only need just these two, but I always, always make sure I get extra just in case because um, you always wanna leave yourself some room, wiggle room, just in case you mess up. Which is bound to happen. Like I said, I've been doing this for about five and a half years. Five years since 2016. And um, I have made many a mistakes along the way. It doesn't matter how long I've been doing this. Sometimes you just mess up. Sometimes you forget to um, change your setting like this. Sometimes I don't even realize that like my kids have been over here playing with this and then they've like turned this all the way down there and I didn't realize it so I've been and made a whole design and had to throw it out because they be touching my stuff just doing too much so because I am doing um, vinyl iron on I don't never just put it on vinyl and I don't never just put it on iron on there's a dot there that's like in the middle so because I'm using I'm doing both um, I just keep it in the middle or sometimes sometimes I guess I can just say I put it on iron on, um, but um, but yes, I um, mainly just keep it on, the, keep it in the middle. So how I measure things is I just take my um, mat here, and um, you always want to go three fingers down. That's how you know where to start your design it. So if you see, I kind of had, I'm I just. You know, I'm used to the um, thing. Either three or four fingers down. You place your four fingers down and then that's how far from the collar you know to put your design at. So, um, this is a, a kid's shirt. So, what I usually do is just um, come about like this much over from the kid's shirt with my mat. And then that lets me know how far across to take the design. So I'll probably do nine across and about six down. That's the width. So that's how wide the design will be. So that's what our measurements will be. Nine across for width and six down, which is length. So now that I have uh, the measurements that I'm going to choose, I always write them down in my notebook. So that just in case um, somebody asks for this 
specific design or this specific shirt. I don't have to like try to fimble and fumble with uh, recreating the uh, measurements. I can just know that I said, um, I had a pin here, I don't know where it went. These stuff just be disappearing. And this is the box that I keep all my tools and everything in. Once I'm done, I put it back in this box. And I put the pen back in the box. Why? I don't know. So, um, anyways, I always write the name of what it is that I'm doing. So I'm going to say TikTok Princess because that's what the design is. And I'm going to say this is a this is a, this is a youth small shirt. So I'm gonna put YTH small. And then I'll put a dash, and then I'll put what the measurements are. So we did nine and six. So this is how I write that. TikTok princess, you small, nine and six. So this, I know what this means. Nine is the first number, the width, and then six is the length. So that's how I know. And then that's what the uh, notebook is for. I take my vinyl and I put it up against my mat. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I come across nine and then I mark it. But then I, I don't never stop directly at nine. I go about nine and a half to give yourself wiggle room because it, the design never stops at the number that you're on. It always goes a little bit more over. So just so that you won't be printing a design and wasting um, vinyl, um, always give yourself a little bit more room than what the actual numbers are. So we know that the six is right here. So once again, I'm gonna go six and a half on the back of my paper. So that that's where I know when I do my cutting, oh my God, it's not focusing. So that, where I, that way I know when I do my cutting, I'm going to cut here, cut that all off. And then I'm gonna come and cut here, cut that all off so that we can save our um, access because we never know when we'll need it for something else. And so because I have that, I'm going to do my green, uh, my Tiffany blue, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do that the same way. I'm going to put that line in the same spot there. And then put it at the same spot on there so I don't have to like lay that down again. Then I'm going to take my cutting board here. Slide that right in there. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's where my dot is. So I put the cutter right on that. Make sure it's uh, even in there. Make sure it's all the way to the top and even. even. And then I just cut. It's hard doing this with one hand, you guys, because um, I don't have my I don't have my um, and because I didn't use a lot of pressure, that didn't really cut right. So I'm gonna set this down and recut it again, and just like that. So this is that axis that we. I'm gonna keep to the side. Then I'm gonna turn it where the other dot is there, and I'm gonna cut there. So 
I have this much excess left. Put that to the side. So I have that placed here on my mat. This is the old mat, you guys, and I do have newer ones. I just feel like I don't like to throw open up any new ones until this is really just not sticky anymore. Like till it just can't get no stickier no more. So from here, I'm going to, uh, as you guys seen the blue light pop on, that was me pairing um, my Bluetooth to my work phone. Then I'm gonna push upload. And I'm gonna push upload from image. I'm gonna click on that image. And then I'm going to put that in my cart. I mean, in my thing. And from there, Because this is iron on and it's going on a t-shirt and we have to flip the vinyl on the opposite side so this is the color but it's laid down on the opposite side because the other side is the peel so it has to go the other way around has to go backwards so I'm going to mirror image this my design and I'm gonna do that by clicking on my mat and that number means mat one. So I'm gonna click the mat and I'm going to, to turn on mirror for iron on. And it flipped it, as you can see. It flipped it the opposite way. So when it cuts, this is how it's going to cut. But when I turn it over on the green side, it's going to be the correct way. So I'm going to close that out. It's there on my mat. And then I'm going to push next. And it takes some time, you guys. As you can see, it's the loading. Now we are good to go. So guys, this is what this looks like. So after I weeded out all the excess, this is what it looks like. TikTok princess, right? So because I told you guys I'm doing it, this color and the pink color, I'm going to keep this part, this color, and then the princess is going to be pink. But I made this whole thing pink, uh, this color to use this as an outline base to keep everything um, together so that it won't be like nothing will be crooked or anything like that. So this is the full sheet base that I'm going to use and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about um, in a minute.
so this is what's going on the shirt so now the last and um well it's not the last and final step but the last step of the design is actually printing uh pressing the design on if i can find my um Oh, here it is. Let me place some stuff down. So, um, so you guys can get a visual of that. I'm gonna put you guys back down here so that you guys can see. So, what I do is I lay the shirt on a flat surface. Sometimes I use the chair that I sit on or I use my little um, ottoman, but so that you guys can actually get a visual. Took that tag in. Okay. Collar is here, you guys. Remember I said three or four fingers down. That's where you know you put your design, which this is pretty much the same thing. If it measures three fingers down. So sometimes I just bring it down just a tad bit more, but I get that measured around the collar. And that's how I get my centers. And I also measure with fingers as well. If these are a little bit wider than this side, then I know to just bring it over a little bit more. Like that. So I have the same width. I'm not going too far out on either one. That is centered. And then I take my shirt and hold it up as well and see if this is lined up with the bottom down there. And it is straight, 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 straight. So now, I use the lines on the um, actual measurement ruler. And then this is my four fingers down. sure it is in the middle and it is so from there I just lay my shirt down put on my press
that's that, you guys. And remember, I told you I had two of these to do, so I'll just one of them. And I'm going to do the other one off camera and um, hurry up and get done with it. But that was that. Thank you guys for watching. Can okay, y'all see me on my kettle cut off? And look at this little outfit I made. This is pants and this is pants. And then I just threw a little burgundy tank top on up under here for a little accent color. Do the little blend out New York hat on from when I went to NYC. But I made this little outfit, you guys. TikTok made me do it. So I have the pants. Just some little comfy little joggers. Pop this right here. And then these are pants too. So the um, tie up from the pants is now meeting the tie up from the bottom half of the pants. And make this into a shirt to match. And I have a cute little outfit like this. And then these are the pockets. Let me step back so you guys can see. So yeah guys, quick little outfit of the day I guess. The bottom of the pants go scrunchy scrunchy like these. Just like on the sleeves. These are the pants that um well these are the bottom of the pants that would be if they were pants. So I just made this little cute little outfit. I did like four of these. I made like four of these little cute outfit sets. Well I turned uh, pants or like leggings into shirts or sweaters. So yeah guys, I was going somewhere cute, put on my little, little combat boots, wearing some earrings and a necklace, and be cute for the day. So yes guys, I'm going to end the vlog here guys for watching um thank you guys for vibing with us if you would like to see more videos like this comment down below and let me know i'm about to yeah, get off here because that's a lot so um if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up like share comment subscribe don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend to come and join the curtain crew and become part of the family. And then, guys, we will see you in the next video. See y'all this time.